Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today I'm going to be reviewing a kit from Airfix that obviously like before I've built on the sidelines because it's only a quick little kit. Um, I've decided, I told you in the last video I'm going to do some small kits and only do reviews on them and sort of like say they're like starter kits or kits for under £20. I think I'm going to use the title kits for under £20. Um, sorry about that. It's mainly focused at people who are thinking about starting a hobby um, and don't want to go out and with a massive budget and go and buy a kit like the Tamiya 132s for like £100 or a lot of other kits that can reach 50 quid, £50, pounds, you know, things like that. So this is mainly regarding children with pocket money or um, don't have big budgets or new to the hobby and don't want to fork out on a massively expensive kit. So I'm doing a review of a few of these kits. Um, do a little M review um, and show you what the models turn out like. And that's pretty much it. So this time, uh, the first one I built was the... Airfix uh, Tiger Moth in 1 to 72. This one is another Airfix kit. I think it was about seven, eight quid. It's not that much, but it is a new tooling kit. So it's a very nice kit because it's all like up together and that. Um, it's the Supermarine Swift. Um, I can't remember what mark it is, but yes, it's a Supermarine Swift. Uh, and it was based, all I remember is the pattern I did, it was based in Germany during about 1956. Um, so literally just at the beginning of the Cold War. So about the kit, it came on uh, four sprues and a clear sprue. Um, she's not that big as you can see. Stupid thing as well, what I've done, and I always do it, but it's not too much of a problem with me because I hang my planes on the ceiling, is I haven't put the weight on her at the front. Um, with you people who are more advanced, um, for any chance, can you give me a message below in the comments what you use to use weights in the nose of planes? Um, I've tried blue tack. Uh, made in, into little balls, but it's just not heavy enough. Um, so I, I need to find something small but heavy. So if you've got any ideas, please drop a message so I know for the future. So anyway, back to the kit. Um, very simple. Um, there was no real fitting issues with it. Um, the camo was a bit awkward. Um, I ended up doing the camo with spraying the whole aircraft um, dark sea grey, which is I use Tamiya's uh, dark sea grey. That's XF fifty four, and then on the green I used Vallejo's Air British Standard Dark Green. So that's the actual correct colour. And it's got the code down there. British Standard 241. So this is the actual credit card. So anyway, I use this stuff here. I basically sprayed the whole thing grey. Primed it, then did the grey. Then I use this stuff here. Um, you can get this brand, which is Vallejo. Or you can get... Uh, Humboldt make it as well called mask goal basically and you just basically paint with a brush the shape of the camouflage but obviously over the camouflage so it's going to stay that color and then obviously spray it all and then it comes out like this so some of the corner end is a bit tricky for tapes that's why I didn't take this I normally tape my camouflage um, but as you can see, she's quite a nice little size. Just a standard little airfix kit, really. Um, as I said, she's new tooling, so she's 
got quite nice surface detail as you can see a uh, nice cockpit in there and you've got the underside here as well um, with all its decals on I've obviously used my standard wash to sort of like give it a clear coat and obviously give it a bit of a ink and stain um, yeah that's this kit as I said this is going to be a part of my kits for under £20 I was going to do kits for under £10 but there's a few other ones that I'm going to be starting to build actually next which is the Tornado GR1 RAF by Ravel uh, it is a starter kit she I think she's like 15 16 quid um, and that'll be the next product review I'll be doing sort of like a cheap kits so um, basically yeah it went to, summing up it went together okay no problems no I think I used the tiniest bit of filler on one bit but nothing other than nothing um, I would recommend to use Tamiya paints um, on certain websites you can find um, color code converters because obviously on the instructions it calls for Humbrol um, and I personally hate Humbrol paints um, so, so basically yeah cheap kit less than tenner um, straight is straight out of the box no extras or anything and it's a beautiful kit um, I'm very pleased with uh, Airfix I, I used to not be a massive fan of Airfix to be honest with you um, but I've noticed since Humbrol brought it out in the past few years um, they've been really trying to um, bring out some real quality kits with um, sort of like up there with Tamiya um, they're trying to be more competitive in the market I guess um, but that's it really that's all I can say so this is the second video of my kits for under 20 quid thank you and the next thank you for watching and the next um, kit review will be as I said the Ravel GR1 RAF Tornado these are all 1 to 72 scales just cheap smashing them out literally aircraft easy done so have a great day um, happy modeling and ha yeah have a great day and happy modeling goodbye for now